Good morning, kindergarten. This is for math group two. Math group two, can you turn your math books to page 143? Turn your math books to page 143. Now, as we turn to page 143, let's look at number one. The one simply asks us to color seven. We're only coloring seven turtles. So you can choose any color you like. Just make sure you color only seven turtles. Now let's look at number two. Number two wants us to fill in a bubble under the combination that tells us how many there are all together. So let's count how many that we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven all together. So let's see which will have seven. Let's see, six, I have one, two, three at top, plus one, two, three, four. I have one, two, three at top, plus one, two, three, four. Oh, it seems like it fits. Three, one, two, three, plus one, two, three, four equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It seems correct. If we look here, it's a seven minus three. That's not right. And this one is two plus four. That's not right either. So the first one is what you bubble in. So for the next one, you basically just look at the combination and see how many that you have already all together to give you your answer. Let's look at number three. Number three wants us to match the clocks with the times. So we have two clocks here and three times. So let's look at this first clock. So the hour hand, so short hand is pointed on six, but this is pointed, the minute hand is pointed on three. So what time could that be? Let's count. 5, 10, 15. So 6, 15. Do we see a 6, 15 on the board? We have 10, 15, 6, 15, and 130. All right, we do have a 6, 15. So we draw the line here to that clock. Now, this time says 1. Our hand is pointing at 1, but it's pointing at 6. Let's start at the 1. Then figure out what the time is to count by 5s. 5, 10, 15. 15, 20, 25, 30. 1, 30. So do you see 130 here? Ah, we do. So we match the line there. So when you look at number three, just take your times. You'll match the clock with the correct time. As you flip your page over to 144, let's look at number four. Number four tells us the number tells us how many eggs in all go in each nest. You're going to draw the eggs needed to show the number of eggs in the nest. Cut a picture. So you basically look at each nest and there's a number in that nest. Let's look at the board. For example, three. This says three, but I only have one object here. So how many more objects do I have to draw to make it complete three? That's correct, two. So I draw two. Let's count how many have all together. One, two, three. Good job. Let's go over to this one. This says five, but I already have two objects in this side. So how many more do I need to make five? Three? Let's see. One, two, three. Let's see how many we have all together. One, two, three, four, five. That is correct. So that's what you're going to do for number four. You look at the nest, then you're going to draw the correct amount of eggs. And lastly, as we go over to number one down bottom for the oral number evaluation, you're basically just going to write the answer. You're just going to write the answer. So parents, it's okay for the part down bottom. That's fine. It is write the answer. So I had to do. You don't have to orally say it. Is that it's your choice? All they have to do is write the correct sums for each problem down bottom.